It is now the 23rd of March and Ana is still probably taking his daily naps. But then I was like, wait, it was Beastworm's birthday two days ago, so we did get a code that would be up for a month. I immediately pop into the B game and I proceed to take a peek at the daily boards. Man, the lack of honey day really got you guys acting different, huh? So, after a bit of pondering, I decided I would try to step in and assert some dominance. But there were some major issues. Number one, I'm really rusty. Although red isn't the hardest color to boost as, it's definitely less complicated than white. I was still going to struggle making honey without proper technique. The second issue is I wouldn't be able to keep up my nectars and my wealth clock. I share a room with a roommate, so macroing overnight would be out of the question. I also just can't macro effectively. My final issue was I was going to have a lack of helpers. My main source of help would come from my friend Awesome Dragon 2, who was just coming back from Paris after his own crusade against Napoleon. So basically, I had to keep all three of these factors in mind and try to solve them in my own ways. I'd have to do warm up boosts, have nectar vials and balloon blessing ready, and just pray that this code would carry me. For me, this would be the first Honey Day event in over a year, and my confidence would be absolutely clapped. Okay, I have to be honest. I screwed up. Me and my friends originally planned to do this code over our spring breaks, but we got extra lazy. There was also a major thing that I was missing when it came to the code. I thought that we'd have this code for a month, but my little self decided not to read the entire description in full, which said it would expire by the end of the month. And what was the date? It was already the 31st, the last day of my spring break. Now Onnit usually gives us leeway for these codes, and sometimes he does give us a grace period, but I wasn't so sure if I wanted to risk waiting until the next weekend. I looked at the time and it was roughly 1pm in the afternoon. In a last ditch effort to not miss my first honey day in over a year, I had to risk it for the biscuit and just go for it. Unfortunately, the situation only got worse from there. My wealth clock wasn't max as I wasn't expecting to do a boost that day and I forgot to store a nectar in my nectar pot. Many helpers like my friend Awesome Dragon wouldn't be available, and those that were would only be able to help for one boost. But luckily my friend Rob was able to give me some last second insight on how I could boost solo. By a stroke of luck, I still had access to my old laptop, and I decided to boot it up and set up a temporary alt that can help me macro and move the fuzzy alt for me. In my first boost however, I didn't have to worry about this, as I had guys 3 and Rob to support me and give me a much needed morale booster. I'm done rambling about my excuses, so on to the honey day. So with the conclusion of my grand 5 hour crusade, I made about 1.7 quadrillion honey and was able to just barely scrape the top 10 daily and the top 3 red daily. 
Of course my boosting wasn't the greatest, but oh well, I did what I could for one night. If this experience has taught me anything, it's that you need to prepare a bit more if you ever want to do a honey day, cause spam boosting to cover up how badly you did is definitely not fun. Oh, and what did I do with my honey you may ask? I gambled half of it away and got nothing. But you know what they say, gotta always keep trying.